Welcome back to Dual Sided. We're back. Let me just say this. 44 years old. I mean, let's just, for anyone who's upset, just keep in mind that this guy is 44. No, and the guy who's 44 is Floyd Money Mayweather. And, you know, he faced off Logan Paul. And, you know, the match ended in a draw. Obviously, we stated that there was not going to be a winner to give a backstory if you guys missed it. I mean, Logan started off, you know, he started pretty good, huh? Like, yeah. doing what he was supposed to. You could, you could go as far as to say he won the first round, basically. Yeah. First couple rounds, maybe. Like, for sure, he... And that's no disrespect to Floyd. That's Floyd's game. And to, in a, uh, you know, to feel out his opponents and just go from there. You know, because obviously he doesn't know... You know, he hasn't trained with Logan. He doesn't know he, how he fights. He doesn't know his style. So he... And obviously, Logan's five, six inches taller than him. You know, he's bigger by 30... Almost 30 pounds... It, w it was a difference, and Floyd definitely wanted to feel him out. And, you know, it seemed like he did in the early rounds. As the rounds passed, it seemed like Logan was getting tired, huh? Yeah, for sure. You know, he came out sweaty, you know, just dripping in sweat. And he didn't keep his arms up. He just yeah, his shoulders out. But, and I think that was a 10-ounce glove. So, I mean, Floyd is 44. You think this, just based on what you've seen, you think this is just the decline of Floyd? Or you think, are you surprised? Or are you just shocked with the results? I thought he was in a KO. I mean, we both yeah. did for the round. Maybe, but, you know, if you think about it, he just never had the power in his, you know, punches, but... And, I mean, he did land a couple... He did la land some shots on Logan, huh? Yeah, just Logan. Logan took him. Like, you know, he didn't even stumble. At, n not that I've seen. And, um, you know, obviously Jake Paul was ringside. I, I didn't think he was there to let him in, in my opinion. But, um, you know, he was ringside after the fight. He tweeted, 15-1, holy F. My brother just beat Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I mean, I would just calm down in that, huh? I wouldn't go that far, huh? He def he, let's just say, it, let's just put it out there. He, Logan Paul did not win this He did fight. not beat Floyd Mayweather. Let's just, I mean, he, in the long run, I mean, we said, what's the win for Logan if he just lasts with Floyd? Yeah, just, he, he won that part, yeah, but he but didn't win the fight. I mean, overall. if you see, if you see the stats, like, every, like the percentage, I mean, ultimately Logan threw more. But Floyd was more more accurate. He was more precise. Yeah, Logan, he was just wild. He was all over the place. Which, I mean, that was a game plan. I mean, he wasn't going to outbox Floyd Mayweather. Which, I mean, did did he outbox Floyd? Definitely not. Uh, you know, then Canelo, what, in, you know, probably one of the top boxers today. He tweeted, obviously, he's coming off a TKO win over Billy Joe Saunders. You know, he tweeted a face palm, you know, f the, the emoji. And then Jake Paul replied, you can't sell pay-per-views. I would eat you alive. You, th you think he's stepping out, out of his uh, zone there? Who? Jake Paul? Jake Paul. I mean, you know, the, anything you know about the Paul brothers, um, you know, they're always going to try and get people's attention, so. I mean, let's just, let's just clear this up for people who don't know, haven't seen Canelo. Would, would Jake Paul have a chance on that fight? Uh, let's just say it nicely. Be nice. Does, do cows produce milk? Do they? Oh, they do, yeah. Uh, so, I mean... So, the opposite of that. Okay. So, I mean, th he was being nice. So, I mean, Canelo, you know, he's... He definitely was watching. I I, I think that he expected a knockout like we all did, huh? Yeah. Sure. And even Floyd, up, leading up to this, he was saying, I'm going to teach these guys, you know, that there's a difference between pretending you want to be a fighter and being an actual fighter and he's he kept on saying you don't play fighting which is a famous saying another fighter a big scary guy francis Ngannou, ufc heavyweight champion um you know he tweeted it's crazy to think that logan paul owen one just made 20 million on a boxing ex exhibition what are we doing wrong you know which i mean he has a good point there 20 million logan paul made off this we, arguably he could have made a little more floyd definitely over 100 if you think about it or over 80 i mean this definitely like he even leading up to the fight in the the pre i think on thursday he he was saying i already i've already made 30 million up to this point so i mean this i mean just after the fight you know he gets the percent in the the majority share obviously his was showtime and you know he definitely got paid today but um you know let me ask you this is this a bad look for boxing after all that floyd said after all that you know he kept on saying i'm gonna teach these guys less i'm gonna teach them that there's a fine line between you know youtube boxing and you know real boxing real yeah, fighting. I, mean, I guess if you if there's one bad thing about this is uh that there is no knockout from floyd I mean, if you know if people think that that's a bad thing i guess so i mean and to the next part to the next question who won this fight deep down i mean in the long run i mean st you know based on the fight 
if you had to, uh, you know, close everything or block everything out the outside, who won this fight? Obviously, Floyd. Literally, who won the literal fight was Floyd, but you can't take away that Paul, he won, you know, the, I don't know, he won, I guess, the aspect of, you know, he went eight rounds with, you know, arguably the goats. And, you know, he's still 44, but I mean, still, I mean, you, you know, Connor and people in Twitter was comparing Connor got knocked out. But I mean, I, I'd say that Floyd was a fresher, more accurate Floyd back and then. Was it, that was an, that was an exhibition too? Or no? no, that was an actual b- boxing match. Yeah, so I don't, you can't which, really compare the two. Which I mean, I guarantee you Floyd was taking more serious than this fight. You know, this, e- even if Floyd lost, you know, obviously he wasn't going to lose. I, 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 I honestly don't understand why this is made an exhibition. What you thought it should have been a official? It, uh, it, it doesn't make. I mean, if it was a, an official, I get for sure they would have gotten way more pay per views. Uh, I feel like if Jake Paul um, and it takes away from the, you know, if you're fighting f- actual f- fight for an actual record, not, you know, not for like play fighting. Yeah, but the F- Floyd has been, uh, you know, he's been uh, adamant in saying that he's retired. He's retired in boxing, but he's not retired in entertainment. So I mean, Flo- in Floyd's side, you can't. This this is all just the money, you know, all for the money for him. Which obviously, nothing but respect to him. He's he's beat fifty guys, you know, fifty have tried, fifty have failed. Uh, Logan Paul, same for him. He made twenty million on this exhibition, um, even though it doesn't count on his record. Even though we don't deep down who won, um, you know, Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul is the the more serious um, in terms of the boxing career. You think Jake Paul is more of a you know, you think he's actually taking his boxing professional career serious? Yeah, sure. You think that uh, Jake Paul versus Logan, uh, versus Floyd is down the line? Yeah, I mean, Floyd said it himself, huh? Yeah, Floyd definitely said he, you know, he's going to entertain it. And then he also said that Connor, he would do that again, which I mean, Connor, uh, that's Connor a challenge, huh? Yeah. Because you've see, you seen Connor in the last fight versus Poirier, like, and that's, you could argue that that's why he. Lost the fight due to the calf kicks. I mean, he had the boxing stance down. He way better boxer than he was versus the Mayweather in you know back in January versus Dustin Poirier, and then trilogy is next in August or July, July, yeah. And so we'll see what that you know what happens there. I don't think I don't think Connor at this point. You you think Connor doesn't wouldn't entertain this or do you I, think he would? He definitely would. You think I so? think he. Honestly, I, I would think that I would bet my money on Connor at this point. That he's the next opponent. No, I th- I think if he fought oh, Mayweather, yeah. he would b- beat him. Uh, definitely a closer odds. I don't know about the favorite, but I mean, it's just Flo- Connor Floyd's forty four. I mean, Connor's still young. I mean, he's he's out he's still in the UFC trying. Like, if he wanted to make money, obviously he's making he's the uh, main attraction of the UFC. But if he wanted to make money, he would be doing this type of stuff. Which either way, he made. He was the richest uh, athlete from 2020, right? Yeah. From last year. And Forbes, number one, which, I mean, you know, he's only going to get richer. Obviously, he has the, the whiskey. He has, the you know, the video game. I forgot what that's what that's called. And then he has, obviously has his UFC career. So, I mean, just, you know, what's next for Logan? And then what's next for Floyd, in your opinion? I think for Logan, I think this was just a one-time thing. I don't think... I don't think Logan's going to get in there anymore unless it's for, like, you know, against a, Con- a Connor fight or something like that. But in terms of, like, a boxing and amateur, I don't think he's he's going to be doing that. Like, you know, obviously Jake Paul's fighting Woodley. You know, What would be more entertaining, a Logan Paul fight versus McGregor or uh, Jake Paul versus McGregor? Oh, Jake Paul versus McGregor. Because Jake Paul actually, you know, he's obviously built that fight up and Jake Paul's actually... I, from what we've seen, you know, he seems to be taking it seriously. Obviously, sh- signed with Showtime, he's obviously fighting. Uh, you know, he's have his he has a challenge against uh, T Wood on August. I think it would definitely be interesting to see Logan in a MMA fight. Obviously, yeah. he would get his ass beat, but yeah, and he also admitted that he would do. He he you could he he obviously used his wrestling today. He would try to weigh, you know, Floyd down, and Floyd kind of got upset a little, huh? You seen. Mm-hmm. Floyd get a little heated, and uh, you know, yeah. So I think Logan would do better in MMA, but I mean, you know, in terms of, in terms of, you know, what's next for Florida? You think he's going to continue to put on these type of events for entertainment? You think this after just seeing the result of this, which one do you think 
was more entertaining the connor versus floyd or this for floyd the, obviously the connor so i mean there's a fine line as he gets older it's his entertainment value his value his the hype of fighting floyd is only going to decrease so i mean he's got to be aware of that which i mean i don't doubt that he understands that but i mean if he fights like a connor mcgregor like that's an i think that's an actual challenge for him no but we'll see um, you know, we'll see what's next for Logan, what's next for Floyd. Obviously, they're not anytime soon, huh? With the money they just got today. No, I don't think so. Definitely made, uh, Floyd definitely, you could guarantee you that he made over 100 mil. Logan, f- from what's being reported, he made over 20 million in, in a boxing exhibition. So, I mean, this is just, uh, you know, my opinion. I don't think it was the result that we all wanted. You know, you can't say that this is, you know, this is bad for boxing because in the in the beginning, you know, Floyd did say if that anything, this was, what this what this makes looks bad is the UFC. Yeah, it def- then back to Ngannou, who said, "What are we doing wrong?" I mean, obviously, it's well known that the UFC doesn't pay their fighters what they're worth. You know what they're I mean, worth. If you, if you think about it, what what do you think gets more pay per views, UFC fights or bo- boxing fights? Uh, bo- if the high level, it's definitely boxing. But I mean, the yep. Ngannou first. What do you think? Then what what do you think is going on with all that money? You think Dana's taking all of it? Yeah, def- he definitely the owners and him like you, the if percentage of the ratio or the ratio that goes to the fighters compared to the you know compared to the owners compared to Dana White, it's it's the low it's the lowest you know the fighters get the lowest compared to any other professional sport, and uh, even Jay Paul has spoken on that you know saying that these guys deserve the pay. Yeah, and you, if you, you would think that you know especially in the UFC, it's not just boxing; it's you know. It's def it's definitely more dangerous, you know. Yeah, and you know you would think that they would make a ton, uh, way more money. And it's consistently more entertaining. In my, you you don't think you think UFC is more entertaining consistently? Yeah, like it, in terms of boxing, obviously, if you have a, you know, a Canelo versus, you know, whoever is any Canelo fight is entertaining. Obviously, obviously, when Floyd was in his. In his fighting career, I, every Floyd fight was entertaining. But in terms of consistently every week, like you could count on the UFC. Which one is more entertaining to you, uh, uh, Mayweather versus Canelo, or Ngannou versus John Jones? Uh, Canelo and Floyd now, or yeah. the one before? Now, I think I, May, uh, and I, I go Ngannou versus Jones. Yeah, I would say that too. Floyd versus Canelo. That's even now. That's a. I think Canelo takes that, but I mean. The Ngannou, I, like, there's no doubt in my mind that I want to see that, but we'll have to see if that happens. But I mean, just a just a crazy outcome, you know. We'll see what's next, you know, for the boxing. What's next for you know Floyd? What's next for the UFC? <laughs> Obviously, there's gonna be, you know, this is gonna be you know spoken about the whole week, you know. So we just covered this as fast as we could. We literally c- came from watching the fight, and uh, we were gonna you know do a live reaction, but I don't think it was wor- worth it, huh? Yeah. It's it's literally too. Yeah, we took we took the video, but yeah, it's, it's too long. I mean, it's and it's not. We were all expect. You know, when you look for the live reactions, you look for knockouts. So I mean, unless there's an, we shouldn't do anything any live reactions unless they're unless they're knockouts, huh? Yeah. So I mean, that's gonna be what we're gonna do from now on. Um, you know, but regardless, it was a. I mean, it was it wasn't a waste of time, like people say. It was entertaining. It was better than watching like. You know, like uh, what what uh, what else is on now? Anything else on Netflix? Huh? You rather watch the fight, huh? Mm-hmm. Netflix has been on a decline, so Netflix got to pick it up. You know, but once again, you're watching Dual Sided. Follow us on Dual Sided down below. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Comment down below your thoughts on the fight. If you think it was embarrassment to boxing or not, let us know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace. <laughs>